Hey guys, William here, and I'm going to do kind of a Batman unboxing. Uh, I have two items here. One of them is technically didn't even come in. I mean, it came in a standard mailer, obviously, but it was not shrink-wrapped or anything. So technically, you'll just be seeing it as I received it, other than the mailer. And the other is definitely a true unboxing, shrink-wrapped and everything. These are two Batman games that uh, I'm going to kind of review the one as I go along because I've had a chance to get to know some of it. And the other is just, you'll be seeing the contents of the game and everything. So let's get into this. Come across this first product on eBay or Amazon, something like that. Sold for about 12 bucks plus like $3 shipping and handling. Used to have one when I was younger, and I was like, hell yeah, I'm getting that, and that is the Batman role-playing game by Mayfair Games. This is from 89, I think, and I haven't gotten through all of it, um, but I've gotten through enough of it that I can tell you some about it. It has a good uh, mechanics system. It's similar to D&D. &D, but there are some differences. You have hero points and you have APs. Both uh, kind of affect your base stats and the things that you can do. Hero points is kind of like currency. And it's a nice system because you get rewarded hero points for role-playing well, being in, a, uh, or being in a completed campaign, stuff like that. And you can spend those on upgrading your character if you want. Or you can save them and use them to maybe get out of a tight spot by having them affect your roles or uh, attributes. Now the thing is, is you cannot spend them after you've made your roll. Because that would just like be really unfair. So you got to announce before you're going to make a roll. Maybe you're in a situation that you realize going to be a little tight, a little trouble to get out of it, and you'll announce, hey, I want to spend so many APs to affect this roll. Well, even if the roll comes out good, those APs are gone. Or, I'm sorry, hero points are gone. So that's kind of a good system. It's also used heavily in the character creation uh, aspect. When you start with a hero uh, from scratch, you'll have 450 hero points to purchase stats, powers, skills and so on and then the way the system set up to purchase those works really nice so for example when purchasing a skill you'll need to pay a base cost and then you'll go to an AP chart and you'll say well I want so many APs of this skill and then you'll go over on a horizontal column and find its uh, cost in addition to the base cost so it's a really nice currency system set up to manipulate certain elements of the game and still not in a way that people are getting screwed. Um, some things I do have problems with is, especially in character creation, <coughs> is you can, it, it says it's the player's discretion if they want to make a more powerful character to uh, go with more hero points and they list a specific amount go with this set of hero points instead of the 450 or if you want to make a character more like Robin you can cut it in half and go with this many hero points now granted when you do more hero points you get uh, double costs on all your skills attributes and that and when you do less hero points you get half cost on skills and attributes and that but it just, I think that's something that should be at the discretion of the GM solely as a mechanic. I'm not saying it's a bad mechanic. You know, maybe a GM's got a bunch of advanced players who've been their way around the game and haven't played in a while and they want to create a new character and they want to do, you know, more powerful characters, not start out with such weak characters. But overall, I'm not big on uh, allowing the player to decide that. Some other things I have issues with is character stats 
particularly the Batmans. Uh, these are characters that are already created. And the Batman has six APs of strength. Well, that might not really mean anything to you. But then I turn around, or then you turn around and find out that that means he can lift easily, according to the book, 1, 000, up to 1,000 pounds. Batman's good. He's not that good. You know, I know he's the, has the meme he goes, goddamn Batman, but he, even the Batman cannot li easily lift 1,000 pounds. So I do have some issues with that. Uh, other than that, I have issues as far as the powers that they don't have a paralysis power. This is a minor issue that can, due to the fact that you can make up a power at the GM's discretion and apply, you know, the appropriate um, attribute points and hero points to get that done. But I'm just, I'm thinking that in Gotham City, there's got to be at least five numb nut thugs baseline who have thought of a paralysis machine so I do have issues with that other than that though I really like the systems I'm into the chapter on gadgets uh, some people have complained about gadgets but from what I'm seeing it's not a bad uh, system another thing I like is what's called the universal modifier table so you'll have X amount of scenarios where you've been told by the book this is how you handle this with these type of roles. But if there's a situation that comes up that isn't co covered in the basic minutia of the book, you can apply the universal modifier table to assess difficulty. So I do like that. But uh, yeah, overall, you know, I've read this thing before. It was a long time ago. Uh, I really like, really like being able to dig back into it. There you can see it has reference charts for um, skills and powers you'll see reference charts throughout for um, most of your uh, attributes wealth um, gadgets and that they have a villains roster calendar man cat man cat woman uh, I don't like that there it characterization seems limited as far as they have heroes and fortunately yeah, let's try that again fortunately is uh, during the time that during the time that you have Nightwing so you'll have Batman Robin Nightwing so yeah really happy with that purchase and I'm going to move into the other game now that I've given enough about that this is actually a theme based on a game known as The Love Letter. I'm not too familiar with it. It's just been, uh, it's just basically the Love Letter game with a Batman theme applied. They did make one change um, to it, and if you see the back, it says, you know, a new twist on the Love Letter game, and it says the idea is to capture the uh, Arkham Asylum inmates and it's claimed to be a um, game of risk deduction and luck for two to four players they have uh, you can earn Batman tokens by eliminating opponents and by winning each round for a new spin on the classic love letter so I guess the token element is new in that Either way, we're going to open this puppy up right now. Hopefully not damage anything else. Because I'm still a little torqued about damaging the Ships of Thesis in my other review. Well, not review, unboxing technically. So you can see this is a nice little packaged um, card game. Uh, not It doesn't take up a lot of space, obviously. You know, you can just set it just about anywhere and not have issues. Here we have a bag of Batman tokens. Here we have the rule booklet. And here we have a standard, very thin deck of cards. Perhaps this is the reason why it is such a fast to play game. Because they do say it is a very quick to play game. 
uh, it's, it's being referred to as a 15 minute game so uh, I think that has to do a lot with the way it's set up uh, not really any artwork in the book booklet however there is some uh, or I mean there's some really large print and then you'll see there's some character notes uh, card notes so I am assuming that uh, there's kind of a difference in what these cards can do but I'm not sure so yep that's pretty much it for the Batman unboxing you've seen the Batman role-playing game I went into some depth on that and you see the Batman love letter game see it again looks like a really cool game when I play it I'll let you know how it goes and that's it for that so uh, I'm headed out. This is Big Bastard signing out. You guys have a good day.